7 Ways to Detox Your Emotional Well-Being Let It Out Wave your arms in the air like you just don't care. That's what letting go means, but sometimes we care too much. Is it possible to have a good heart without feeling like we're constantly drowning? Here are 7 ways to detox your emotional well-being. 1. Give your room a makeover. You'd be surprised just how much fairy lights and paper cranes could brighten your mood. Research also shows that adding plants in your home can reduce your fatigue and anxiety. Feng Shui, the Chinese art of balancing your environment, has been around for nearly 3,000 years, changing people's lives for the better. Your room should be a safe space for you to unwind in after a long day at work or school. So hit your local craft store and get creative. Who says detoxing had to be expensive? Two. Hydrate like a boss. Humans are made up of 75% water, so it's no doubt that dehydration affects the way our brains think. Studies show that even mild dehydration can quickly affect our mood. Ditch the coffee and soda and go for something more mild and soothing, like your favorite herbal teas. This will also give you an excuse to have a tea party if you wish. Detoxing with friends and family might just be what you need. Three, watch the sunset. If I'm lucky, sometimes I'll still catch it on my drive home from work. But for the most part, I've been missing it these days. It just doesn't feel the same. Time flies by and before we know it, another moment is over. A study from the University of California proves that just being in the presence of something beautiful can make you feel more connected to your emotions. Similarly, researcher Jai Wang Jang also discovered that those same emotions not only improve your well-being, but motivates you to be more generous to others. There's no such thing as a boring sunset. So seize the day and let it remind you that even after bad times, tomorrow is always nearby. Four, doodle or bullet journal. When life feels messy, we don't always have the option of getting away for a vacation. So why not get far away with your imagination? Invest in a good journal and doodle or plan the month ahead. According to medical doctor Maria Rodell, the more we are surrounded by clutter, the more it slows us down mentally and physically. When your mind is filled with loud thoughts, sometimes all they need is some color and organization. Five, revisit your favorite childhood memories. Who else here feels like growing up is overrated? Responsibilities grow by the second and so do your bills, but it doesn't always have to be this difficult. Watch a Disney movie or reread a book you loved as a kid. It'll give you the perspective you need. In fact, studies led over a decade by Dr. Constantina Sedikaides shows that nostalgia can combat anxiety, loneliness, and boredom. His passion for his roots and memories led him to create a questionnaire called the Southampton Nostalgia Scale. It turns out that homesickness can help us regain strength to move forward. Six. Tell someone you're sorry. People's egos tend to always get in the way of being real and honest. No one's perfect and none of us are a saint. If there's something that you've done wrong in the past that you've never fully owned up to, call up that person or find them on Facebook and let them know that you're sorry. Research shows that apologizing has some amazing emotional benefits for both the receiver and giver, such as helping you heal, move on from the past and building empathy. When you bow down and apologize, you're being the bigger person, and this may bring some closure. Seven, help those who are less fortunate. You don't need to run a big charity to make a big difference. Whether it means volunteering at an animal shelter or donating to a good cause, you're doing something that matters, and this will make you feel better. In fact, you'll be surprised to hear that doing good deeds not only reduces your stress levels, but also your blood pressure, which increases your lifespan. Research from Carnegie Mellon University shows that doing volunteer work may increase physical activity among those who aren't usually active. I'm lucky because I get to do something meaningful here at Psych2Go, and I want to thank you guys for being such a strong, supportive community. If something's bothering you or you just need some cheering up, Know that you're always welcome here. Let us know how your day's been with a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people and provide our support. Thanks for watching.